Okay, today what we're going to be doing is our next step in our skill building that we've been talking about the first week. If you've been following along, we talked about how to draw a cube and draw it correctly. Last week we learned how to do some perspective, and this week we're going to be concentrating on optical illusions. Each one of them kind of builds on top of each other and does um, a little bit more progression each week or each lesson. So. Um, first of all, what I'd like you to do is we're going to just do some sketching today. And for your beginning sketching, I'm going to ask you to draw a box. It's pretty simple. Um, you can draw a box. If you have grid paper, that's fantastic. If you have, I think it makes it a little bit easier for just your sketching today. If you have a regular piece of paper, that's also fine. All right, so you're going to need a straight edge, whether it be a ruler, side of a book, popsicle stick, whatever you happen to have. All right, so I have a perfect square here. I tried to get it the same on each one of my sides. Now what you're going to do is, if you were going to, and I have some tracing paper so I can show you, what we're going to try and do is make this square look three-dimensional and kind of close in on itself. So what I did here was, for a piece of tracing paper, and what I try to do is I try to make this look three-dimensional where it starts to go back and there's like a hole in the wall and then like, it tunnels out to the other side. So what I did to achieve that was I took this right here and I went from, I drew partial of a line and then um, I drew a vertical line up from there and a line straight across. So I drew three lines for the three-dimensional um, effect. Do notice that you can take this and it's still correct from each direction. Um, and take that and see how you're looking down into the hole, so different directions, um, whatever way you kind of want to work with. All right, next what we have, um, oh, I did make this one to show you. You can take that and make it all different lengths if you want to. So this one is like a little hole that looks like um, maybe almost a window that is open. So instead of a tunnel, but I did the exact same thing where I took this um, and I pointed it like a straight edge. Um, so I took this and from corner to corner, from this corner to this corner, I just drew a little bit of a line and then I went ahead and make one vertical and then one horizontal straight across and I achieved the same thing but a little bit of a different look. All right, let's get a little bit more advanced. The next one is a concept. You can try this or wait for the more advanced concept but I wanted to show you um, this. Once again, skill building here. So what we have here is I have, I call them block letters, not bubble letters because they have um, squared off edges to them. Then what I wanted to do, if you've ever done this before to make them look more three-dimensional, what I did, I'll show you the first one here. Notice that my A all of a sudden has like another side to it so it looks more three-dimensional. And let me show you how I did that on one of the other letters here. It's tracing paper. It's hard to separate. Okay, there we go. So what I have here is, let's go with the T. It'll be a little bit of an easier one. Now what I'm going to do is, if you watched the um, perspective video last week, just kind of have a place in mind where everything goes back to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my vanishing point, oh, right there. I'm going to put my vanishing point there. Um, next thing is I'm going to take each one of these lines that can go back to the vanishing point back to it. And if you did the um, drawing last week of the over the bird's eye view, like where it was overhead, this is the exact same thing. It's just a little modified. So they're all going the same direction. Um, they're all should be in the same direction here. All right, excellent. Now they're all the same length, all the same direction. Now what I have is I'm going to go ahead and make a parallel line here. This is just like that block drawing, uh, the cube drawing that we did a few weeks ago. So here we go. One across the bottom. All right, now you have a very, very three-dimensional looking T. All right, you can kind of have fun with that one. All right, now like I said, each one of these is a skill building and getting more advanced. 
Um, so with this one, what I'd really like you to try is to draw in a regular shape. With your regular shape, ooh, that's hard to say, irregular shape, uh, what you're going to do is we're going to try and make this um, kind of like the hole in the wall, like we had with the square, but also making it look like um, kind of the letters where they're a little bit of a thickness. All right, we're going to kind of add all of that together. So what you're going to do, I'm going to show you this on my tracing paper and then we'll do it together on this paper. So what you have is the irregular shape and then hopefully you can kind of see the 3D illusion that I'm trying to make it look like there's a big crack or a big hole in the wall. All right, so let's do that one together. First of all, what I have is I have a vanishing point down here. The vanishing point I'm not going to be taking and um, drawing them all the way back to the vanishing point. I'm just going to take every single corner that I can and that I should back to the vanishing point. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Notice that my popsicle stick is lining up all the way back here if my popsicle stick is longer. So just kind of, all right, so each one of these should be the same length going in the same direction. All right, should I draw one here? The answer is no. Why? Well, I'm going to run over, let's say this is the wall, I'm going to run over my wall. Um, on the inside here, this is where the hole is. I'm not going to run over anything. Um, so just kind of visually keep that in mind as you're doing this. Okay, this one down here. Okay, I think I got them all. Sometimes I have to start drawing to make sure I did. Okay, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make each one of these parallel. So this line and this line need to be parallel. Just like I did with my letters before, this line and this line are parallel. This line and this line are parallel. Remember when it runs into something, you need to stop and keep going. Once you run into something or someone, you can't just keep going like nothing ever happened. That's going to hurt someone. Okay. And there's one here. Remember this is parallel. And one last one here. I'm drawing it weird like this so you can see what I'm doing. That's all the lines that I need. Okay. So have some fun with some of the different shapes and the different things that you can do. Um, something else that really helps us to work a little bit more in your visual advantage is um, if this is a hole, shade this in so it looks like that is, um, you know, has some depth to it. All right, um, some other things that you can do are possibly, let's take this and if you want to make a crack, it looks like it's opening up on the edges. Just have some fun, put some variations in there. Uh, once again, this entire week we're going to do some skill building and we're going to use these as your beginning point and we're going to progress um, each day. All right, you guys have a great time, have fun with this.